This Samsung neuromorphic chip will copy your brain memory. Imagine if there was a device that could capture your brain's memory and store it. Sounds insane, doesn't it? Well, Samsung recently shared a new idea that would take humans a step closer to understanding the performance of neuromorphic chips and how they can perform better at mimicking the brain. How is that possible? Well, stay tuned to find out. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates about our channel. This video is all about Samsung Electronics and their groundbreaking announcement about creating something highly ambitious. The Samsung Electronics company is working hard towards this futuristic goal where the watertight compartments of neuroscience, artificial intelligence and semiconductor technology work hand in hand to create something stronger. Keep watching to find out more. Now let's begin. Samsung Electronics, a global entrepreneur in innovative semiconductor technology, recently announced a remarkable breakthrough that brings the world one step closer to achieving neuromorphic chips that better mirror the brain. Conceptualized by prominent engineers and scientists from Samsung and Harvard College, this idea was released in Nature Electronics as a perspective article entitled Neuromorphic Electronics Based on Copy-Pasting the Brain. The co-corresponding authors are the esteemed Professor Park Honkun, belonging to the Harvard University, Fellow of Sight and the Professor of Harvard University, Ham Donhi, President and also CEO of Samsung SDS, Huang Sangwoo, the former head of Sight, and Kim Kinam, the Vice Chairman and also CEO of Samsung Electronics. Let's take a look at what they plan on executing, how they want to go about the whole plan and also what it would mean for Samsung Electronics about a neuromorphic chip and what they do. A neuromorphic chip is a type of analog microcontroller modeled after the biological brain. The term neuromorphic comes from joining the two unique terms neuro, which means of nerves or the neurological network, and morphic meaning bearing the structure, form or architecture. This design philosophy enables these neuron chips to comprehend sensory data and respond in non-programmed ways. This approach uses a relatively linear pattern to transmit data back and forth between central memory and CPU chips. Neuromorphic chips encode and transmit data so that it utilizes a series of electrical pulses modeled after brain synapses. Synapses in biological neural networks respond to sensory information and modify their interconnections due to previous experience. Neuromorphic chips will evolve in the same manner by engraving neural networks into silicon and will also be able to battle difficulties that the processor has never faced before due to its previous experiences. Neuromorphic chips are not quite as flexible or powerful as general purpose circuits. They can be more efficiently adapted to specific jobs than other alternatives and are hence more efficient. More data may be packed into every other burst from the chip, allowing it to process and analyze much greater sizes of data in much less time. How do you facilitate mind uploading? Now that we know what neuromorphic chips are, it's time to know about how the process of mind uploading works. Mind uploading, often referred to as whole brain emulation WBE, is the possible futuristic method of accurately analyzing a physical brain structure to generate a simulation of the psychological condition or the person's state of mind at the time of analyzing, including their long-term memory and ego, and transferring or duplicating it to a machine computer in digital form. The machine will then execute a simulation of the brain's information by processing it into an understandable form to respond in basically the same way as the original brain and have the experience of having a conscious, rational brain. Mind uploading could be performed in two ways, copy and upload or copy and delete via slow substitution of neurons, which can be regarded as progressive destructive upload. Until the initial organic brain no longer survives, any computer algorithm imitating that brain takes control of the system. Mind uploading would be accompanied by using the former technique by scanning and identifying salient aspects of a biological brain and then collecting and replicating that information state onto a computing device or another computing device. So in this aspect, the authors want to construct a memory chip that resembles the unique computational features of the brain, low power, easy learning, adaptability to the environment or even autonomy and consciousness. That were beyond the reach of existing technology through such a copy and paste approach. Samsung Electronics plans to utilize the first method of copying and pasting the information shared by one's brains into a neuromorphic chip, which will prove to be one of the best utilizations of artificial intelligence and science in general by also using neuroscience to make the whole approach even more mind-blowing. What did Samsung say in their announcement? 
The brain is composed of many neurons, and their interconnecting pattern is fundamental for all of the different brain operations. Therefore, understanding the map is quite an essential portion of the whole approach for duplicating or applying the principles of reverse engineering of the brain. While the initial intention of neuromorphic engineering, which originally began in the years following the 1980s, was to emulate the structure formation and composition of neural circuits on a small silicon chip. This proved to be quite difficult because even today our knowledge about the brain is quite limited and we know too little about the brain's massive neurons in the hidden layer are interconnected together to generate greater functions and responses. As a result, the purpose of neuromorphic engineering has shifted from rigidly copying the brain to building a chip inspired by it. This paper proposes a method to revert to the core principles of the initial neuromorphic purpose of the method of reverse engineering on the brain. The nano-electrode matrix can access many neurons and record electric impulses with excellent sensitivity. These parallelized intracellular recordings contribute to the neural network architecture, identifying where the existing neurons are linked with one another and how intense the connections are. As a result, the neural network diagram may be retrieved or replicated from these indicative observations. The copied neurological map can then be pasted to a subnet of non-volatile memories, like commercial flash memories found in SSDs or solid-state drives, or unique memories like RRAM, also called resistive random access memories. By processing each recollection so that its conductance reflects the potency of each neuronal linkage in the duplicated map, the report goes a step beyond and proposes a method for quickly pasting the neural wiring diagram onto a memory network. If directly triggered by intracellularly transmitted signals, a network of specifically constructed non-volatile memories can comprehend and reproduce the neural link architecture. This is a method of rapidly downloading the neural connection diagram of the brain into one neuromorphic memory chip. The conductance of every memory unit will represent the intensity of every neuron association in the neural connection architecture. According to Samsung, the end outcome would be a return to reverse engineering on the brain, as their scientists had planned. The move will act as a shortcut to AI systems that operate like real human brains, with normal human abilities like acquiring new concepts and adjusting to changes over time. According to the experts, completely autonomous machines having actual cognition may be developed soon. As for their approach, it is quite scientifically accurate. However, the one big hindrance is the replication of trillions of memories onto a single chip like the brain. Still, Samsung intends to continue its studies into neuromorphic engineering, utilizing its superior knowledge in chip production to enhance Samsung expertise in the next generation of AI semiconductors. The data collection would record where these synapses connect to one another and the strength of such connections. Scientists believe that if these new strategies are well-built, they will provide additional flexibility in learning and understanding, whilst coming up with newer concepts and alterations in situations and lay the foundation for totally autonomous machines developed through artificial intelligence technology and equipped with their personal and unique cognition. Human brains have a collection of 100 billion neurons and a lot more synaptic connections. Therefore, any neuromorphic computer capable of recreating the brain would require a mind-boggling 100 trillion memory units. However, with a strong approach, Samsung will possibly do what it set out to do. That's all we had for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please drop a like and also subscribe to us for more videos like these. Do not forget to let us know what you thought about the video. Do you like what Samsung is trying to develop? Let us know in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.